Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm your host, Junior Mint 32, and we're back for Wall Breaches Part 3. If you haven't yet, hit that like, subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You do not want to miss any of these wall breaches. As of today, October 8th, 2023, all these wall breaches do work. Be sure to stick around to the end to see the bonus wall breach that's been patched with a death wall. I'm accompanied today by one of my crew members, Tripper, who is also the top admin on my Minecraft server. If you play Minecraft, definitely check out my other videos and also JuniorMint32.com. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, for this first one, it's down in the industrial docks, and it's actually a very simple one. You need to try and get behind these three stacks of wood and just shimmy back and forth until you breach the wall. It did take me a couple of attempts, but I popped right in. Quick little victory dance. So it appears that you could shoot out the wall that you came in, but some of the other walls you cannot shoot out of. But at the same time, the walls you cannot shoot out of you can shoot out the window openings. So this next one is over at LSA. It's the radio tower or whatever the heck this thing is. You want to try and be smooth and slide in just like you did those girls DMs. You cannot shoot out of this one at all. We had to take a second to appreciate the backdrop. Next up, we have a canopy breach. This is a very simple one to do, guys. You're going to need a car. You're going to need to back it up underneath that canopy and then just climb up. A little friendly fire never hurt anyone. With friends like that, who needs enemies? You can shoot out of this one, guys. Look at the way that truck's moving. It's all weird. That's GTA logic for you. An added bonus is you can jump out of this one. You don't have to kill yourself. It has an excellent field of view, allowing you to murk every soul in sight. This one's going to be an interior breach. You're going to need a terabyte or something big. You want to back it up all the way to the door on the inside. Then you just simply want to climb up. As Tripper warned me, be careful. That first step is a doozy. There's only a small walkway for you to actually walk on. And you're back here in the corner. Nobody's ever going to find you back here. So this is really only a good spot, I guess, if you're running from the cops. You cannot shoot out of the walls here. But it looks to me as if you can shoot through the doorways. Don't quote me on that, though. But that's what it looks like to me. This next one is at the construction site. And you're going to need an impressor. You're going to need to fly into that canvas tarp at the very top right there. Please be sure to like and subscribe, guys. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I truly appreciate it. You need to be careful when you first fly in. There is a wall, as Tripper just found out, which was absolutely freaking hysterical when it happened. Although there is a wall there, you can go around and get to the other side. You also need to be careful when going through here on an oppressor, as I hit something right here and almost ate. But I was still able to fly over it, so I don't know what that was, GTA logic. Now, I didn't get off my oppressor to see if I could actually shoot a gun out, but the missiles don't work shooting outwards, but Tripper is easily able to shoot in at me. And after a few more shenanigans, we move on to the next one. So this next one's over at the beach, and you're going to run up to this hideous freaking sculpture. Well, I mean, what the hell is that anyways? But... You need to go down this narrow little path in there and need to blast yourself into the corner and pray to God that you actually spawn inside or, you know, whatever. But 
Tripper was able to get into it. I couldn't, and I gave up after a while. We were just checking to make sure they were working anyways, so I didn't really need to get into it since he did. So for this one, guys, you're going to need an oppressor because you're going to have to fly up into the top of the clock here. It seems that Tripper got his oppressor stuck underneath the stairs, so I came around to investigate and possibly help. I thought maybe kicking it would help, but I kicked the wall instead. And then I kicked the Quack. out of him. I'm Batman. This one's very simple, guys. You just need to fly your oppressor in underneath the clock part. Super simple. Super small. It's almost claustrophobic. I definitely don't recommend firing a missile in here as you cannot fire out. And if you do, like I do, you will die because I'm in God mode. And to get out, you could just simply fly out, which is always an added bonus. You don't have to kill yourself. Next up, we have a garage breach. You're going to need a motorcycle for this one, something that you can launch off of. And you're going to line up across the road. Always look both ways before crossing the road. Safety first, guys. And then you're going to floor it straight into that garage door. So yeah, just line up with the garage door, floor it, and hope you go in. And boom, I nailed it on the first try, guys. Unbelievable. Out of the park with this one. It's a home run. Poor Tripper out there is just freaking taking a beating on that garage door. Tripper couldn't get in, so he decided to play peekaboo with me and pop his head up and tell me that he couldn't get in. This next one is an overpass breach. You're going to need a vehicle, and what better way to obtain one than completely violating someone's personal space and property and ripping them out of their car like a savage beast and throwing them to the ground like a rabid dog. After that, you're going to back up that car over in front of the cafe and climb up on top. So you're going to climb up, you're going to go over the little air conditioner HVAC thing and come on the other side of this sign about the first little uh, indentation there. And then you're gonna shoot into the wall and try and land on the wall behind you. I would just like to take a second and express the importance of leg day. You never know when you're gonna have to do squats on a freaking balcony like this. <laughs> After a few more shenanigans, we're back to business. Step aside, my friend, and let me show you how it's done. Boom, on the first try. I'm three for three on the first attempt. I'm on fire, man. Now, this is personally my favorite spot. You can shoot out of it. There is a wall behind you, but you can shoot down below it. This is like the perfect spot. It's right center, right next to Los Santos Customs. Everybody drives through here. This is like the most traveled road for other players. Like, I drive through this area countless times through game. Poor Tripper, still trying to get in out there. Get over here! And I don't know what just happened there. He like was inside and then was outside. I don't know. He clearly fell over the wall and was like not in. But all of a sudden he just appears next to me, which is, I don't know, man. He, he made it in somehow. Then we decided to have a little target practice. Shit just got As soon as we spawn into the new location, we get verbally assaulted by some Vato, which Tripper automatically takes out like a true professional. Double tap, just to make sure. We totally massacred and annihilated them with my zero kills. 
you're going to need a car for this one, guys. So Tripper went and found that guy's car. And now we're going to do the unthinkable to a nice classic car. And we're going to jump on top of it. So you're going to park that car right in front of the center there. And don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you on the map where we're located. I did not forget. So now you're just going to climb up, run across the roof. All right, then you got to go down this pipe. You got to shimmy across it. And you're going to climb up on that pipe and then climb up on the wall. It's really that simple, guys. And then you're inside. Now, you cannot shoot out of the back wall, but you can shoot out of the front walls. This spot is actually pretty funny because if you walk over far enough in the roof, then your head will stick out. And so we took an opportunity to play around and have some shenanigans again. And another plus to this one is you could just jump right out of the roof, guys. You do not have to kill yourself to get out of this one. D -d -d double bonus. All right, guys, I got a double bonus for you. First one over at the strip club has been patched. It now has a death wall in it. The second one is at the gas station. It also has a death wall in it. I was able to get into it though, in God mode. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, like button, and the notification bell. Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to me and helped me grow. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much.